Welcome to episode nine, where we are going to be talking about self image reboot, self image repo. We are going to explore the relationship between the selves, between the selves, and ultimately get to a place of self empowerment through wholeness, a wholeness in all of yourselves. This is the month of May, and everything in May will be about the body, about wellness and wholeness in your journey. Today we're talking about self-image. Next week we'll be talking about body image. We're going to talk about exercise. We'll talk about eating. We're going to talk about joy on the human journey. So keep your feedback coming. Keep the comments coming. Really enjoying this ride with you. Thank you for being here. And before we get started, if you don't have good self anything, whether that's image or confidence or esteem or worth, Likely, that's going to translate some of the symptoms are anxiety. I have a free mini course, 10 Steps to Letting Go of Anxiety. It's a little mini course that walks you through some of the principles that will give you the tools to ultimately align with your truth, with peace, with happiness, with, with ease. Go to my website, www.matane.me forward slash anxiety. That's www.m-a-t-t-a-i-n.me forward slash anxiety and download that free mini course. Let's start getting on it now. Let's start now. So, episode nine, self-image reboot. Let's talk about it. As you know, I love to start off with definitions because definitions gets us aligned. So from Oxford languages, self-image, it's a noun. The idea one has of one's abilities, appearances, and personality. So the idea, I'm pointing, I'm pointing to my mind, the idea, that the idea is a thought. I'm going to give you another one. Self-image is our judgment or perception of ourselves and our life journey, which includes physical appearances, abilities, personality, and characteristics. So let's break this down into maintain speak language, maintain speak language from the lens of our four bodies. So if you follow me and if you don't, it doesn't matter. We look at we look at the human journey from four bodies. The human has four bodies. The egoic body, this is where we carry our beliefs and our identity. The mental body, where we process our thoughts. The emotional body, which is the emotional, the emotional feelings. I'll use feelings interchangeably between the emotional body and the physical body, but they're different expressions. And the physical body, this is where we have our physical sensations and our feelings and our physical feelings. Self image is an idea. It's an idea about our life, our self, our, our journey, our characteristics, our personality, our appearances. So self image based on the Matane speak language, self image is an expression of the mental body. It's an idea, a thought coming from the mind, the mental body, and it's a judgment. It's an expression on the physical body. So the self image is an expression of the mental body, a expression, a judgment, a perception, an idea coming from the mental body and it's judging it on the physical body. So self image says from the mental body, so from your mind, to your physical body. Hey, physical body, you are not good enough. Or maybe it says, you are absolutely amazing, better than everyone. The mental body might be saying, hey, you're ugly. Or maybe saying, you're absolutely gorgeous and you're beautiful. It might be saying, hey, where you came from is nothing. Or maybe saying, hey, where you came from is everything. And it makes you who you are. Really doesn't matter whether the mental body is under inflating or over inflating the physical body. Doesn't really matter because either an under inflammation, under inflammation, 
under inflation ha, 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 or over inflation is a distortion of truth. Either way, the mental body is judging the physical body. It's judging your body, judging your life journey, judging your physical characteristics, where you came from, who you are, who you are. So the mental body is judging, having an idea, a perception. If it's a poor self-image, it's not going to feel good. So let's explore from the four bodies, from the four bodies, what a poor self-image is going to feel like. And we're going to explore it from the lens of the selves. So we introduced today on the episode, The Prelude, we talked about the self-worth, we talked about self-image, we talked about self esteem and self-confidence. You already see with my hands if you're, if you're watching this rather than listening to this, an idea of where they're coming from. So let's explore from the lens of the four bodies and from the four selves what this means. So let's start with the egoic body. The egoic body is where we carry our beliefs, our identity. So the egoic body might believe I am bad or I am very, very good. I'm amazing. I'm so better than everybody else. Might believe that I'm unworthy. I'm just not worth it. I'm not good enough. Everything I do is bad. Everything I touch is bad. Where I come from is bad. Might feel that you're unfree, not free in life. You're controlled by life circumstances for where you came from, who you are, the job that you have, the relationships that you're in. Might feel that you're not lovable. There might be experiences that have conditioned you to believe that you're not lovable. Or on the opposite side of the spectrum, that you're super amazing. You're unbelievably worthy. You're better than everybody else. Walk in that room and the spotlight shines on you. You are better than everybody. You feel a distortion of control. You feel all the control in the world. Everything that you want is under your fingertips. You feel that you're so loved. Everybody loves you more than anything in the world and you can get away with anything. Again, just like I said earlier, it doesn't matter what side of the spectrum that you're on, and under Inflation or of an overinflation is a distortion of truth and is an indication of feeling unworthy. Unworthy. So from the egoic body, it's a poor self-worth. The expression is poor self-worth. Mental body, I'm gonna say it again, not good enough. Having self-judgment, self-deprecation, self-doubt. Any of these mental judgments that are negative and result in you feeling bad. I'm jumping to the emotional body as I point to my heart. But it's, it's an, an expression of poor self-image. So the mental body is the thoughts and that's where your self-image is coming from. It's how you see yourself, your thoughts your, and your perception, how you see yourself. So the mental body has negative thoughts, negative thoughts when you have poor self-image. So unworthy on the egoic level and feeling very poor self-image on the mental body. The emotional body, how does it feel when you have poor self-image or poor self-worth? Sad, unhappy, anxious, which is a fear that's unknown, tension, Tension, physical tension that should probably have been in physical expression rather than an emotional expression. Guilty about self, about life. Feeling unsatisfied. Feeling just low self-esteem. Now on the other side of that, you can also say feeling like overly happy. There's an inflation of exaggeration of feelings, of feeling amazing and feeling good, but it's not aligned with truth. It's, it's uncovering a low or covering up a low self-esteem. So the emotional body is the expression of the self-esteem, how you feel about yourself. So self-esteem is how you feel about yourself. So you see how we're building this? The egoic body, self-worth. It's how your worthiness, your self-worth. The mental body, it's your self-image, how you see yourself. Self-esteem is how you feel about yourself, your emotional body. And all of this resistance that we discovered right now that results in poor self-worth and image and esteem results in a depleted 
negatively feeling physical body, a hurt physical body, a pained physical body, physical body with stress, with tension, doesn't feel good. Life doesn't feel good. Life doesn't feel authentic. It isn't aligned. There's a lack of self confidence. So watch self confidence shows up in the physical body. Self confidence is an expression of how we act in our life's journey. So self confidence, because so you can see how they're so connected, your self worth on your goal body, your self image on your mental body, your self esteem on your emotional body, and your self confidence on your physical body. So all of these impact each other. So what you believe, your belief, your self worth, your, and what you think, your perception, your self image, and how you feel, your self esteem, impacts how you live, how you act, how you are. Your self confidence. Isn't this amazing that you could see how interconnected they are? So, if you recognize that they're so interconnected, that means that we just need to fix the root cause. So, here we're getting to the antidote. You just need to fix the root cause, and boom, all of a sudden you can fix your self confidence, your self image, your self worth, and your self esteem. So, one recalibration allows you to fix all four. Didn't I tell you that at the beginning of today, that we can fix all four, getting to the root of it? And this is what I love about the philosophies that, 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 that I always approach is ultimately how do we get to the root cause? And then the root cause allows us to live, to feel, to see, to be as we desire. So the root cause is alignment of the four bodies. So of getting alignment of your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your egoic body. So your beliefs, and I've said this before and I'll keep saying it because this is all muscling. We're going to keep muscling and muscling and muscling together till we come to truth with such ease. That's what the human journey is about. So your beliefs, so you're in your egoic body, form your thoughts. What you believe form your thoughts. So can you see that? How I believe, whether I'm worthy or not worthy, forms my self-image, my thoughts about myself, whether I have a positive or negative self-image. And your thoughts, how you think about something, so really it's right now, let's try it. Think about something happy, something positive. Think about the sun. How do you feel? Your thoughts impact your feelings. Or go ahead and try to think of something negative, something sad, poor weather, and then see how that impacts your feelings. So your thoughts impact your emotional body. And your emotional body impacts how you feel, how you live, how you act, how you be, how you be. So stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the life that you're living aligned with your beliefs about yourself, about life, about who you are and where you come from? Likely the answer is yes. So let's see how easy it is how easy it is. We are going to muscle through our four bodies to recalibrate to truth. And through the recalibration of truth through the four bodies, that will align the four bodies and get back to positive. Positive what? Self-confidence. I like to act confident. Let's feel, have positive self-esteem. Let's feel fabulous. Let's have amazing self-image. Let's have positive thoughts about ourselves, empowering thoughts. And let's have unconditional worthiness. So let's start with the goic body. The goic body is usually the one that's the easiest to start with, but we jump around depending on what the context is. But today let's start at the egoic body, your goic muscle. Let's use our goic muscle. So what is your truth? I've asked in many episodes before, what is your truth? What do you believe in? I'm going to start with mine. I'm going to share mine. I want to share mine. I believe in God. Oh, I believe in God. I believe in God. I believe that there is a higher meaning to life. I believe in the universe. I believe that the universe is powerful and connected. I believe that there's an inner being, that there's something within me that speaks truth and knows truth and, and sees truth and guides me. I believe in energy. I believe in vibration. 
I believe in the law of attraction. A lot of those are synonyms to me. They're distinctly different, but also synonyms to me. But what it means is I know that there's a bigger meaning in life. There's a higher meaning. I believe I'm a spiritual being living a human journey. I believe that the human journey is meant to be enjoyed. I believe that every experience is for us to grow and learn and expand. I believe that there is a purpose to all of this. There's a purpose to pain, to suffer, to struggle. And when I don't see it as pain and suffer and struggle and see it as life, it just feels better. I believe that I'm living a human experience. I know that there's purpose and I know that I am my purpose. I trust. I trust. I trust myself. I trust the human journey. I trust life. I know I'm supported by God, by the universe, my inner being, higher meaning, purpose, vibration, energy. Again, synonyms to me. They're synonyms because I recognize that they say the same thing just in different ways and I just embrace them all because I think they're just beautiful and amazing. I know that all humans are equal despite what we might believe or perceive. I know that we're here to grow and expand. We're here to grow and expand. I believe in the unconditional three. That we're unconditionally worthy. We are worthy for being human. Just for being me. I'm worthy for being myself. You are worthy for being you. I believe that we're unconditionally free. That we're conditioned to believe otherwise. But we're free. I believe that we are love. And we can say happiness or joy or bliss. There's a lot of distortion with the word love. So I like to say bliss and joy and peace and inner happiness. I like to say all those words as synonyms. I believe that we are. But I know that we don't always feel that way. So I believe that the human journey is for us to recalibrate to the truth of it and to believe it, to, to, to know that this is our truth. And then we get to see it and then feel it and then live it and be it. I believe that ultimately that we are, I am, I am. So when I reorient to those core beliefs on my egoic body, I just feel unconditionally worthy. I just know we are, you are, I am, we are, we are equal. I can even say we're connected, we're one, non-duality, the synonym, I think it's a synonym for energy and vibration, for God and universe. So do you feel a shift in a recognizing that it's just a muscle here and that reconnecting with the truths, your spiritual truths, your, the, the, the connection to more, to purpose, to why we're here, that you could start to orient back to like, ooh, I am worthy. I am worthy. We are all worthy. We are all equal. These are all philosophies that are reinforced in my course, the Tain flagship course, the Tain the Life That We Desire, which is really the core of the Tain concept. So once we build on that muscle, I truly believe I'm not asking you to control anything. I'm asking you through the truth that you know about yourself and your human journey and why we're here, that you realize you're unconditionally worthy. And with that, you go to your mental body your thoughts, and you realize, ooh, this belief of poor self-image, of judgment of my physical body, that's just weakness in my muscle because life is happening. Life is unfolding. Life has unfolded. Natural life's conditioning has taught me an untruth and a an misbelief until I remember the truth and the belief that I'm worthy, and then I come back and say, ooh, I just need to work out this mental muscle. I start to have empowering thoughts, and I start to see when I start to have poor self-image or negative thoughts and say, ooh, let me jump back to these egoic beliefs. Or let me use this muscle to reinforce the way that I think. I am doing my best. We're all doing our best. We're on this human journey. This human journey is meant to learn and grow and expand. Wow, 
Look at how this self-image has taught me to reinforce my egoic beliefs, my muscles, and now work my focus on my mental body and my, and my beliefs. So boom, I can momentarily, until we keep building that muscle and building it and building it, restore my self-image. can restore my self-image and recognize that it's a distortion of my perception, my physical body. And no, I'm worthy. I'm worthy. I'm equal. I'm here. I'm in the human journey. And these empowering thoughts start to help me expand and grow into a positive self-image. Then you go to your emotional body and recognize that with these positive thoughts, you're starting to feel good. That feeling of sadness, depression, anxiety, frustration, guilt, starting to shift, starting to feel positive. I don't, are you already feeling it during today's episode? Starting to feel more empowered. I have the tools to invoke a positive self-well-being. I am capable. I'm worthy to be happy. Life is amazing. It feels good to feel good, to feel good, to feel good. And then you start to feel your self-esteem start to grow and your heart start to swell. It's just natural. They're all connected. It's all connected. Then we go to our physical body. The physical body. The physical body, which maybe was in pain, maybe tension, stress, feeling judgment on your physical journey, not being good enough. And then you start to feel good because you realize, ooh, I'm worthy. And ooh, I was just had a distorted image of myself, but I'm actually equal and I'm here to learn and grow and expand. And everybody else is here on this human journey to lo- learn and grow and expand. And, and when I think empowering thoughts based on empowering beliefs, I feel good and my heart starts to swell and I start to feel capable and happy and empowered. And then I start to feel strong and healthy and capable and self-confident. Self-confidence is just an expression of the physical body's belief of positive self-worth, positive self-image, and positive self-esteem. So you start to see your self-confidence. So can you start to see that working on your self-confidence without reflecting and working on your self-esteem and your self-image and your self-worth is just that much harder? And you're sort of swimming upstream without a paddle. I don't know if that was a good analogy, but you know exactly what I was saying. Swimming upstream rather than going downstream. Can you see that trying to go directly to self-confidence now is not going to the root cause and you keep trying to fix something, but if you don't go and fix the root cause, it's going to keep breaking and breaking and breaking. See how easy it is to realign with your self-worth, your self-image, your self-esteem and your self-confidence. In one swoop, you can fix all four selves by going to your root cause, your self-worth. And Isn't it interesting that it's normal on this human journey to have low self-worth? It's part of the design of the human journey. It's part of we grow up, we're conditioned, and we have society and maybe our parents or distortions that give us signals that we're not worthy for being ourselves and maybe we have to please others before pleasing ourselves or that we're not good enough or maybe we're abandoned. I don't know what your life circumstances, but it's normal to have misbeliefs of self-worth because it's the design of the human experience. And if you can be cynical about it and say, well, it's a bad human design, or you could be empowered by it and be curious and recognize, ooh, maybe it's here for me to learn and grow and expand. What feels better? The cynicism, the life struggle, suffering, or the recognition that maybe it's a model to help me learn and to grow and to expand, just like a toddler has to fall before it can learn to walk. It hurts to teeth. And you recognize that, ooh, it's just normal for me not to feel worthy at times, for me to have poor self-image, poor self-esteem and, and, and lack of self-confidence. It's just a normal part of human conditioning. But now I, when I become aware, I can start to muscle, to develop these selves, Like I said, all of these concepts are part of my flagship course. Attain the life that you desire. They are maintain core philosophies. And this episode is just so powerful that encompasses all of it. All of it. Because self-image is your mental body's expression 
of your physical body. And your mental body impacts how you feel, your emotional body. And your mental body comes from your beliefs, your goic body. They're all so connected, all so connected. So now, anytime you feel a lack, a lack of anything, a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-image, a lack of self-esteem, or a lack of self-confidence, you have the tools to start to become aware. Ooh, awareness. Ooh, I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling not whole. I'm feeling negative. And recognize, oh, which body is it that's feeling it? Is it my beliefs, my thoughts, my emotional body, my, my feelings, or my physical body? Physically tension or physical sensations. Say, ah, this is where it's coming from. And then you jump to whichever body you, you want to muscle. If your if you're egoic body and your self-worth is feeling strong, then you jump to the mental body. If it's not, then you go back. And what are your beliefs? What are your core beliefs about life? And maybe you need to adjust some of them. And that's okay because it's part of the human journey. It's part of life. It's part of the unfolding, the beauty, the celebration. So now you have the tools to build and muscle to all of yourselves so you can lead a life of pleasure, compassion, and love, and confidence, and positive self-esteem, amazing self-image, and unconditional self-worth. I trust that you enjoyed this episode because I really enjoyed pulling together some of these concepts and really cementing and understanding the root cause of feeling bad when we think about ourselves and recalibrating it back to unconditional self-worth and beauty. I look so forward to speaking with you next week. and We're going to go straight to the body, a body image reboot, why we feel poor about our body. So we're going to go more, less general, more specific. And instead of talking about self-image, which is talking about the whole life journey and our whole self, we're going to be talking about our body, the physical body, which is really exciting because there's a lot of distortions in how we feel.